Hey. Uh, I ain't a right in front of me. You tell your daddy to call me. I'll put him on the phone with you. Here, how about you just talk to him on my phone? Here, actually, actually, watch this, watch this. Hey, you call? Hello. Yes, ma'am. What is going on? We've raised an idiot. <laughs> you don't have any control over your household? Adrian, his truck is in the shop. I, this wasn't even an option. So why is it an option right now? It's George Gilbert's fault. No, he called George. He, I didn't even mention George. He sat here brainstorming. He was fixing to put a post on Facebook to see who he could borrow an enclosed trailer from. And he said, oh my God, George Gilbert. And he beep, 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 and he called George. George was clueless. Didn't even know they was racing this weekend. He's in it. Hello? Hey, hey. 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 That's it. That's all I know. So, yes. recap, there's a race this weekend at Loxley, 1,200 to win. They're trying to get people there because there's been no cars show up for the past two times they've tried to race. Our toter is in the shop. Hadn't shared that with y'all, but we're putting the new transmission in the toter, and uh, it didn't tear up. We just didn't like the kind of transmission that it was, so we're putting a better design in, and... Uh, so we're out of commission. So right? I thought. Yeah. Till he decides that we're going racing last minute, calls George Gilbert, bars a trailer, and calls Adrian to get permission. And I thought it was going to be a hard no, but it turned into if I wanted to go, we could go. And I just said, well, I mean, I will, but I, it's not what I was planning on doing. So she said to get the car ready, and go race it. Mike. Let's get it. <laughs> so there's that. We going yeah. racing. So this is a pretty common occurrence around here dealing with Chase. I thought since our truck was down getting a transmission that there was no way in the world that there was any racing going to happen. But he has found a way. You, I mean, you should have known. I should have known, but I really thought we had you by not having a, a truck. Y'all are the reason. Y'all can thank yourselves for the, for the strong willedness and the... Who? You, you and Mom. Okay. You getting that from us, the no-quit attitude? So, we're going racing. I, I can't really say I'm sad about it because I'm not. I'm excited. I love racing, so uh, sounds like we're gonna get everything ready. And part of that is I have a battery dragging in, in my truck. And uh, I had planned on coming out here today and pulling my batteries out and going and getting a couple new batteries. But now I have to. There's no thinking about it. I have to do it because we're going to pull here. Here's the plan. We're borrowing a trailer to pull behind my motor home with the race car. And then we're going to hook my truck to one of my little car hauler trailers back there. And we're putting his pit box and two four wheelers on it. And that's all we got guys. That's it. So That's it. <laughs> See y'all later. Let me get these batteries out. He's going to get in there and get to work. And that's that. Later. Well, you're, you're all smiles, Nana. So what's your thoughts on, on this last minute racing excursion? It sounds like a plan. <laughs> last minute always works. So positive. I'm glad he's going. I 
I know he's going to do good. Yep. I hope so. There you go. You heard it from Nana. She thinks it's a great idea. <laughs> All right. Love you. Be careful. All right, guys. So, uh, as you know, we uh, last minute decided that we're going to run this car. As you can see, we got a lot of work to do. I uh, pulled the right rear hub off. Um, you know, obviously, we got into some people over at Why Not. And uh, this right here is why it's so important to check all of this stuff whenever uh, every 150 laps we pull this apart which is which is roughly three nights of racing um anyways it's very very important very crucial to uh check this stuff out because right there is we had a kink in that i've got a lot of shavings inside of here uh the other thing is we accidentally overfilled the the bell which allowed oil to come in and flood our drp grease which in turn eventually will will cause problems as well so again it, it's very crucial that you guys any of our racers that are watching this that that you check this stuff out pretty pretty regularly because this could be the difference here but anyways glad we found this i'm fixing to clean all this up and uh go back in with probably probably a, a new right rear hub because i just kind of I'm afraid that, that the race might be damaged. We're going to clean it up and just check it. But but anyways, that's kind of kind of scary there. So, All right, so any of our OG viewers will recognize this trailer. My former crew chief, well, still my crew chief, but he's uh, doing better things than working on race cars, George Gilbert is the one that that owns our our old trailer and uh he offered to let us borrow it so uh we ran over there and picked it up and his car was still sitting on it um again he's been uh he's been building a really really pretty house he's got a really cool deal that he's doing so racing really isn't much of an interest for him right now but anyways we went and got got my old trailer from him so uh this is what we're gonna we're gonna be rolling like so uh, I'm super excited. Instead of we're we're not even half the size of what we we normally are, <clears throat> which is gonna be easier. So, anyways, got a lot to do, but uh, super neat to to be back on our our OG stuff. So uh, let's go work on the car. So problem number two is this was our right rear upper rod. And the rod itself is straight, but like the heim, it's got a flat spot in it and it's not letting it do what it's supposed to do. This is what a new one looks like. I mean, we had some, some damage there, so we're going to put a new heim in and, and everything else. What's wrong? Trailer down that gravel road it looks like the picture. OG. When it's back on the trailer, it's going to look like the original Chase One Motorsports. That's true. You're going to get me emotional, Miss, <laughs> missed old man. Yeah. So I don't know if Chase told y'all about that, but, uh, you know, back early last year when my dad passed away, we, uh, we built the urn, me and my brother and Chase and my nephew, for my dad's ashes to go in. And we, uh, my mom's had, them at, had, it, had the urn at her house, and my brother was talking to my mom the other day and was like, you know, what you think about moving dad's urn into the race shop and she was like oh i think that's a great idea yeah i think he would want to be right up in the middle of everything so uh we're gonna move the urn i'm gonna either build something right over here under this memory wall here or i'm gonna build a shelf and uh put the old man's ashes in here with us where he'll be right up in the middle of this with us where he would be if he was here so and i know he would be with us tonight He'd, he'd have been the first one over here this morning, you know, to get us going. So he loved local racing. He, he wasn't really a fan of us traveling, and he hadn't fully understood the concept of why we had to travel yet. You know, he was still giving me fits about why we would pass up racetracks to go where we're going. And it was not about hating on any particular racetracks. It's about the YouTube and the business and trying to, you know, further the – the channel you know you got to get out there and meet people you can't race at the local track and do the same thing every weekend 
And uh, we found that out early on. And he still, he still, he was starting to get it, but he still didn't fully comprehend what, what was going on, which at the time we weren't near as big as we are now and didn't have the things lined up that we got now. So, but I know he's watching over us and I know he'll be with us tonight. So we got to get this thing finished up. I'm sure Chase has let y'all know what all kind of stuff we got going on and uh, just got a lot of work to do to make it happen. So here we go. Dog sitter. Trying to keep her from barking while you were talking. <laughs> yeah, well, you did good, Avery. All right, so quick update. We are, we got a long way to go, but we're getting there. And Haley has jumped into action and has been out here hustling all morning. She actually beat all this body back straight yesterday. And then, uh, we thought we had some help coming today, but uh, Mikey had other plans, and that's no problem because he was supposed to be off this weekend, and Chase sprung us on us, but it got us all out here hustling. So Haley has definitely jumped in, and she's been loading and packing and helping and doing and, like, awesome. And then Chase is out there getting some tires cleaned up. Avery's been helping getting stuff loaded for the motorhome and helping me watch Ruby, and uh, we're going to make it. It's just going to be tight down to the wire and we're trying not to just go half cop so we're trying to go through everything and maintain everything and this car other than being cleaned it hasn't been touched since we raced it at the fall classic so there was a lot of maintenance that had to be done and like i said we hadn't just thrown it together and man haley just stepped out so i just want to say you you find out what you got when you get in a bind he's got one for sure so excellent Excellent help. Excellent job. Hustler. I mean, I can't even, I can't even, the camera won't even pick her up. She's moving in here so fast. Hey. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, and Salty's really stressed out. She don't know if we're gonna make it or not, but she's got a front row seat to it. So, all right, I gotta get back to work. There's Auntie Avery. Anna. Anna. Yep. So, anyway, what you got to say? What you think? Oh, Avery. I found her eating dog food that yeah. she's not supposed to have. Uh, so right. I just. Other dog food. We're yeah. going racing. Un we Did anyone check out the podcast last night? It was Avery, Haley, and Mom. All right, I got to get back to work later. <laughs> Go time I ain't done any body work in a long time. I can tell. You can you tell? <laughs> All right, Chase. Come on, man. I know, right? <laughs> Things about to whoop me, eh? You ain't never listened to her. Don't have to be stupid. You should have them. You're my only son. <laughs> yeah. That would work. Oh, yeah. Y'all was on beat that you time. Sing? Yeah. together all those flips of him just singing. How we doing? Are you trying to make like that? Yeah, but we got to cut the way off. You know what I mean? Not necessarily. Oh, you do that? Uh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Can we, can we say why?
<laughs> He's sensitive about that. Who's doing these? Since your boy ain't gonna be there. He's gonna be there. He's gonna be there. We aren't equipped. Mm -hmm. We aren't equipped. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it there. Y'all got half faith. Everything, Anyways. Everything we done. He still misses Mike. It's cool. Anyways. The, <laughs> the dirt defenders are on. Good job. Good job. On everything. Local racing, local guy. We got Bubba Trotter. Hey. Uh, what we doing here, Cat? Put my new car on my old trailer. That's what I'm talking about. All right. More over there, my way. A little bit. Like that. A little bit. They're starting to tuck the skirt in over here a little bit. I remember that used to bother me so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I can't wait till I got an enclosed trailer like everybody else. Now you're talking about, I need me an open trailer and I'm going to go show y'all I can do it. Yeah, here you go, Bubba. You need to borrow your truck, though, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bring it on. All right. Am I still good over there, Bubba? Yeah. Look, about this side, from the, that far from the Okay. what oh yeah yeah that hurt so bad so this little trailer here when he first got racing we bought a modified and this trailer came with it and it was in bad bad shape and uh the axles were broke out from under it everything was uh everything needed repair so we stripped it all the way down and i did a spread axle put brand new axles and and did it up and this whole pit box and everything on here had a generator on the front we, we did it up really nice and it was it, it did us good for a long time but uh when it come time to start traveling it was just too much to try to keep everything out of the weather and and you know we found ourselves having to put stuff in the back of the truck that didn't fit in here and then that means you got to load and unload when you're done and that's kind of what this is going back to right here but you know it looks cool open trailer I like it what's weird that's our old colors yeah this thing used to say chase one motorsports right there and it had a, a 45 on it hey, i got something to say this looks nice you like that Except for this. we don't need to tear stuff up that much. yeah tell him about it so in the absence of Mikey, and it's a sore subject, Jason's got hurt feelings. <laughs> we got a new crew person here in a crew shirt. So, here I am. Yep, here we go. Let's go. What you doing? Loading tires. What's dad doing? Parking the car down. What's Chase doing? Nothing. Nothing, Nothing as always. Yeah. He All he wants to do is drive. Yeah. Supervise him. Yeah. Haley's in the house getting ready, getting ready for honey, bunny. Uh, this is. Huh? Why are we on Curse. the side of the Check his strap. <laughs> <laughs> This dude here. What did we do? Hey. 
we almost lost a four wheeler, so we told them to check their straps, but they was already pulling back on the road. So yeah, looks he, like they checked it. Yeah, he pulled over and guitar streamed it. So good to go. That's how easy it is to, to unhook this car. Look at that one strap. Look at that. Look, watch this. Watch this. Transponder in the hole. Yep. Yep. What are the boards for? That's our lift gate right there. <laughs> <laughs> So the nose don't get it. Okay. Okay. This other strap up here. And it's just going to roll off. Yep. Okay. All right. Y'all watch your feet. It's liable to come flying off of there in about 30 more minutes. Is it done? Is it off? Bubba's got to turn into a contortion that's up there to get the winch plugged in. <laughs> so, I've got an open trailer at the house that I haven't fully paid Bubba for yet, but it's in my possession. Um, and once I've paid him for it, I'm going to start doing it and everything. And it's going to have like my tire deem. It'll have a hitch. It goes on the side of it for like tire deem and attachment. I had an air compressor, all of that stuff. Our stone motorsports lights on the back of it. It'll be the perfect Friday and Saturday night special. Uh, we rarely race at home, but when we do, we'll, we'll have something that we can just hook up and go like this. Because this, this right here just makes it fun again. It, it's fun when you're out on the road with, with a stacker. But Friday night, Saturday night special is so much easier just to blow the dirt off the ramps. And... Right, free spinning. Free spinning. Alright, you on them ramps now. Here it goes. Whoa. Here it goes. Oh, here, here it goes. Look at that. Look at that, man. You backlash it. Look at that. How about it? Is George's trailer okay? Yeah. This right here is awesome. 96 Peterbilt for trade. <laughs> for open trailer equivalent. 